Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of Explain and Draw, a series which helps you to end all the questions you have about a certain topic. Today we're going to be talking about Overwatch. Are you ready to get started? Let's get straight to it. Overwatch was released on May 24th, 2016 by Blizzard Entertainment, the company that also brought you the famous games such as World of Warcraft, Starcraft 2 and Hearthstone. Overwatch is a multiplayer based first person shooter. So you're not supposed to play this game solo, there is no single player mode and no campaign. You play in two teams of six players and your goal is to follow the objective. This can be an escort mission, a capture the flag slash king of the hill type or a combination of these two. When you play you can choose from five different types of game modes. Quick play for the casual players or if you just want to have fun playing the game. Competitive play. Here you can test your own skill level and play in a more serious team. Even though sometimes these players will just play solo and screw your whole team. <sighs> Sorry. Or player versus AI. If you just started playing the game or want to test out a hero, etc. This game mode is perfect for you. Here you can get started and try out new things without dying all the time. There is also a weekly brawl. A random type of game mode with different possibilities each week. And the last one, a custom made game. Here, you just have fun. You're the boss of what will happen. Overwatch has its own class system, which is a bit similar to the system of Team Fortress 2. There are 22 different types of heroes with more in development. I hear the next hero is going to be Sombra, but there are a lot of theories out there. Each hero has its own skills, own difficulty and own gameplay. This gives you a lot of variety when actually playing the game. When you're bored of one character, you can just switch to another. Since the game is multiplayer based, you'll have your own role in your team. All 22 heroes can be divided into a few classes. You can either play an offensive character who shoots in the front line, a defender who prevents enemies from killing or capturing the objective, a tank who holds up his shield to protect the teammates, or a support who is one of the most important roles in the whole team but no one ever really wants to play it. And that's the gameplay and game summed up. Now let's get to the story of the game and the actual drawing. Overwatch used to be a task force specifically made to make an end to the Omnic Crisis, a war where robots have turned against humanity. The elite team of Overwatch managed to stop the crisis and end the war. The world was in peace and Overwatch inspired an era of exploration, innovation and discovery. But it didn't last for long. After many years, the Overwatch task force was disbanded due to corruption within the team. The two leaders were presumed dead, Soldier 76 and Reaper. At the time they were known as Jack Morrison and Gabriel Riaz, who was the one that caused the end of the Overwatch. But the world is starting to form a new crisis, more chaos and more criminals than ever before. This world still needs heroes. So the Harambe of Overwatch pressed the button which recalls the members of the whole team to end the crisis once and for all. This is what we know of the story so far. 
I hope I made things clear and answered your questions. If you're curious about this amazing game, feel free to have a look at the link in the description, which will give all the possible information you need. Thank you guys for watching. If you have a burning question, suggestion or idea for the next episode, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Hit the like if you enjoyed this video. I'm Smile Miner Art. This was Explain and Draw. I'll see you guys next time.